y'all welcome back in this video i'm going to show you how to make this really cute and really easy succulent planter using mostly items from walmart stay tuned and i'll show you how to make it all right y'all let us get started so first off we have this i'm gonna call this a bowl because i didn't see anything that looked more like a plate i don't know call it whatever you want to but anyway that and i saw this small bowl this is better homes and gardens and i got these at walmart you see i love this wood grain on this this wood grain is just really pretty and then you can see it's textured on the outer layer you see the light hitting it and it has sort of like this stone type finish so what you're going to do first is you're going to take off the labels because if you don't then the label police will come and they will try to lock you up um <laughs> we don't want that to happen so anyway let's take off the labels all right, so I took the label off of the big one because it was kind of all cattywampus and off to the side so you would sit. I'm not taking this label off, all right? If you don't like it, come at me. <laughs> label police meet the grammar police. We can have it out in the comments. But anyway, we're going to be gluing these two together and you're not going to see that. Anyway, I highly, highly suggest using some E6000 and we are also going to use a little bit of hot glue. If you like this glue gun, look in the description box and I will have a link to my Amazon shop where you can get this for yourself. Now, as you can see, this is very, very textured. Okay, it's, it's not smooth. And this here, we have like this little indent, okay, that goes down. So we are going to put a good amount of glue in here. And we're also going to put a little bit of the E6000 right around this little bottom lip here to really make sure that it holds in place okay so i'm just going to go around like so and i'm putting a good bit so that when we flip it over and put it down it's going to squish and it will actually you know get to come into contact with our our other piece here go away little gnat oh my goodness gnats and flies so as you can see i'm putting a good amount right around the lip here and now we're also going to put on some hot glue. The hot glue will give us instant hold. And I'm trying to not put it on top of that E6000 because that weakens the bond and it's not going to last a very long time. I mean, it's going to touch in some places, but just try to not get it, you know, all over the place. And so now we're going to take this and glue it straight down, try to get it centered. And I think that looks good. So anyway... The hot glue is going to set up relatively quickly and we'll give it about 10 minutes and then the E6000 will be cured in about 24 hours, okay? So let's set this off to the side and let that glue set up. Okay, so what do I have now? I have this necklace, 17-inch necklace with extender. What is all over my hand? Anyway, 17-inch necklace with extender. I got this at Walmart once again. And yeah, and I, I've said this in previous videos. When you're looking for, like, accessories or just little doohickeys to really dress up your crafts, look over in their jewelry section. They got some cheapo jewelry, and it's really cute. I found all kinds of cute stuff. They have really cute earrings. And this necklace, I thought the color went really well with this so um, i'm going to take this apart i'm not going to use it as is of course where did my scissors go? here they are oh my gosh we've been having such bad storms i'm up near Asheville, um north carolina and we've been having such terrible storms it's like the power keeps flickering on and off and um it's just been terrible and it's starting up again i'm I was set down to film just a few minutes ago and the power flickered and I'm like, okay, just, just wait a minute. All right. So now we have this little tag on here. What does it say? All time and true. We're just going to pull that off if we can. Should be fairly easy to break. Nope. All right, Walmart, you go. All right, let me get my wire cutters. Okay, the end is off and I have taken the beads and the little doohickeys off. So now, whoops. I'm going to knock that over. That's what I'm going to do. If you're not making a mess, are you really crafting? Anyway, I have some of this cord, this two-ply number 20 cord. I believe this particular spool came from Walmart, I think. I don't know. You can get it at Walmart, pretty much any craft store. So I'm just going to start threading these on. I'm going to do one, two, three. 
two and three. Don't worry about spacing this, okay? We're gonna get them all, you know, evenly distributed here in a little bit when we go to put it on our piece. And now I'm just gonna go through one of those loops and then we will put on a bead. And then we'll go through the other loop like so, okay? Now we're gonna thread on three more, you know, like it was on the necklace before we uh, took it apart. So let me get all of my beads strung on here and then we'll be back. Okay, so I have all of our pieces and the beads strung back on here pretty much like they were on the necklace, only I'm just using this cording. So now what I'm gonna do is take more of this cord and I'm going to cut three pieces and we're gonna braid it, okay? So let's make sure that I have the right length here. Cause you know, when you braid, it's, um, it's gonna wind up shorter than what you originally start with. Let's see, I'm just gonna cut three pieces and braid it together. That way, when we glue this on, it's gonna give us a more sturdy base to glue this to. Okay, I think we all know how to braid. So I am just going to, hold on a second. I'm gonna knot the end, and then I have a clipboard. I'm just gonna clip this onto the end of the clipboard. You remember making friendship bracelets in school? And then when we get ready to glue it down, we can just clip the knot off so I need this for my clipboard to hold on to it to give me a nice sturdy base, okay? And I'm going to have to hold this down in my lap to do it correctly. So we're just going to braid a piece that is long enough to go all the way around our bowl here. So I'm going to do that and I'll be back. Okay, so I have a good length of this braided together. And I had tried using some of the bigger rope, and I don't know, I just don't like the way that it stuck out, so that's why I wanted to braid a piece so that it could add a little bit of dimension and bulk, but yet still be flat and not stick out too much. So anyway, I'm holding it here. This is the loose ends, of course. I'm just holding it here. And now I'm going to start sticking it down here and there with some hot glue. Now, the hot glue alone is not going to be enough to hold it down. So we're also going to use some little blobs of this E6000 every now and again. So you're just going to do this kind of slowly and just work your way around. So I'm just going to stick this down. And don't worry about the tails here. We're going to trim those off later. So we're going to just take our time here. And we're just going to glue this down. And I'm just going to put just a tiny little bit here. We're just gonna hold that in place and I'm trying to keep it even with the edge here, okay? So then next, we're gonna take a little bit of the E6000 and put a little bit, I'm just gonna put it right here on the rope, put a little blob right there. Cause like I said, the E6000 is gonna give you your long-term hold and the hot glue is gonna hold everything in place for that E6000 to set up, okay? I'm trying to tilt this so that y'all can see it. Okay, and we'll just hold that on there and let that set up. And then I'm just gonna work my way all the way around the rim of the bowl. Okay, so I've worked my way around. I'm almost to the end here. So now that this is glued down, I'm just gonna take my scissors and trim off those tails. You got to be careful when trimming your tail. You don't want to trim off too much because then it'll make your tail all wopsided. <laughs> all right. So glue this down and then we're going to let that glue right there set up and then we're going to trim this away. Okay, so that's going to be the back, of course. So here's the thing. I've worked my way all the way around. Here's the back. I'm just going to keep that on there. I don't want to trim that off yet because I want it to try to help me to decide where the very front is. So now we have this, and I want these to hang down just a little bit, like so, okay? So what I'm gonna do, oh, I got a blob of glue on it, because I was trying something else, and that wasn't the way that I wanted it to, uh, to work. So let's, let's do this. I want it to kind of hang down like so, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a blob of hot glue right there, and then I'm just going to 
stick that rope down right there and I'm going to hold it in place. You see how I just kind of got that? And this is going to be so difficult for you to see. But I'm just going to pin it like right there. And I'm going to let that glue set up. And then we're going to space this so that, like I said, I want it to hang down a little bit. And then I'm going to glue that right there, okay? Let's move this over just a little bit. And let's put, let's see where we want to get it. Okay, right about there, I should think. Okay, and I'm just going to hold that down until that glue sets up. And then we will move on to the next little section. Okay, so you're probably thinking, well, how are you going to cover that up? I have this peck of beads. I got glue all over me. So I need to change these nails out anyway. I've had them on for a while. I'll switch them out later. But anyway, I have like these little rounded beads and my trusty wire cutters. So I'm just going to snip the back of it off like so. Okay, that was loud. So now the back is flat. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this button and we're going to glue it right there where our rope is attached to the rope. So you know what, I don't know, I'm probably gonna burn the dickens out of myself doing it this way instead of, no, I'm good. <laughs> instead of just gluing it or putting the glue directly on the rope, okay? put one there and then I'm going to put another one right here okay now you see how that has been glued on like so and now we're going to do the same thing that we've been doing now here are our square beads and I don't think I want them hanging down as low as our little tassel doohickey here so I think I'm going to put this glue right here and then we can we can rearrange the beads here in a minute okay now, I highly, highly suggest you get like a tape measure or something so that you can measure these so that everything is going to come out more evenly. Stupid gnats. We have had a heck of a storm, like I said earlier. Um, lots of standing water. And I like the smell, though. I like the smell of the rain. And you know me. I always have my windows open to get fresh air in. And then the flies and the gnats come. Okay. So now we have that. And then once again, you're just gonna cut the back off one of those buttons and glue it right there. And then we're gonna move on to this little doohickey and decide how far down. Like I said, it's gonna help if you can measure it with a tape measure or something. I'm just kind of eyeballing this. I'm probably not getting it right. And then I'm just going to glue that there and I will hold it until that glue sets up and then we're just gonna glue down another button and then we're gonna move on down and around just like we've been doing here, okay? And this is gonna take me a minute, so I'm gonna sit here and work on this and I'll be back. Okay, so I didn't realize this thing wasn't recording. <laughs> so I used eight of those little roundish buttons. I really needed 10. Um, but it's storming, so I'm not going to go to the store right now to get more, but I did need 10 of those, okay? Just to work it all the way around the two that's missing is over here. But anyway, um, y'all have seen this in its entirety at the beginning of the daggone video. But, um, and I'll take a picture and put it at the end so that you can see it at the end again as well. But anyway, I have tons of succulents. I'm just digging them all out of my container over here. And I have these rocks. Now, these rocks came from Dollar Tree. I'm pretty sure you can get them in any craft store. So I'm just going to fill this up. And then I'm going to put the succulents down in there. I think I'm going to have to trim the stems on some of these. But, um, yeah. Um, these particular succulents came from Hobby Lobby. But, you know, Dollar Tree and everywhere carries them. All right, so let's get this out of the way. Now, I was also thinking about around the very bottom down here, taking more of that twine and braiding it and um, putting it around the very bottom. I don't know if I want to do that yet. 
I'll have to think about it. <laughs> but um, if I do, then of course you will have seen that in the photo at the beginning. So you know what? Let's trim off some more of this stem. Oh, that's got some wire in it. So I'm gonna have to use my wire cutters and squeeze. There we go. There we go, that fits better. Let's see, got this little one that can go here. You see, these are pretty tall. I don't think, a, I don't really wanna cut those. Let's see, I think this looks okay. Let's just get these stones around. Okay, and then I have this long green one here. Let's see, what can I do? I think, do I wanna put any of that in there? Yeah, I think I do. So I'm just going to cut these off individually, I think, like so. And just tuck that down in there. Kind of just here and there. That's a pretty bright green. I think that looks good. But anyway, I'm going to get my greenery situated and that will be that. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you would, please give it a thumbs up. Click subscribe. Check me out on other forms of social media. The links to all of which will be in the description box down below. And I hope to see y'all next time. Bye.